up Aries welcome back to my channel and if you new, what's up come on in here hop on the couch kick your feet up relax and enjoy yourselves boo grab your weed your blunt cigarettes drink food water hell I don't give a fuck just do you but allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me because you don't have to booze and you do it for that it truly means the world to me thank you so much my love bugs all right, my love bugs, we're back with another love reading on who's coming towards you. So let's get it started. Who's coming towards me? Bottom of the deck, we have faith. So whoever's coming towards you, hold on, I can't see shit. I know y'all can't. All right, so whoever's coming towards you got a, a lot of hope and faith that you guys will work out. Okay, that you guys will possibly get back together. I'm assuming, you know, looking at these other cards, I'm assuming that's what's, what's going on here. Yeah, we got the strength, Leo. We got the lovers, Gemini. We got the devil, Capricorn. And we got the Hermit, uh, Virgo. So there's two, there's two whip draw cards. So yeah, you guys are not giving this motherfucker no type of attention at all. You're not answering their calls. You're not answering their texts. You're looking at their texts and they're like, mm -mm, not today, Satan. You don't even respond. You keep these motherfuckers on read, okay? Because you're trying to, you're withdraw, you withdrew your feelings from, from a difficult situation, okay? Even though that this person has been soul searching and, and reflecting on this being toxic, they've been, reflect, they've been reflecting on the situation a lot, okay? How they've been toxic or had you in a third party situation with this lover's card here. But yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't see you giving two, two shits with this strength card and this hermit card here because those are both two withdraw, you know, you know withdrew your your energy from the connection card. So it's two of them here. Yeah. So like I said, you're not responding to no type of, uh, whatever they doing, you ain't responding to that shit. You living your life to the fullest, even though this person feels that you guys are a perfect match, a match made in heaven. Okay. And at one point y'all got, well, y'all souls was my magnetically connected. Well, maybe they need to make a decision between you and somebody else with this lover's card here. And this person could have had you and somebody else literally hanging by a string with this devil card in here. Like I said, they had very toxic habits. Very bad habits. This is why you don't want to have no parts of it no more. From what I'm guessing, from what I see, you refuse. Yeah, maybe some of you are selling with somebody that live a distance from you that you got to get on a plane and go see, okay? Maybe you're not selling with this bullshit no more. You refuse to settle. And you put distance between you and this person. Like I said, you ain't you, you ain't responding to this motherfucking nothing. Whatever they doing, you ain't responding to it. Maybe back in the day, you used to respond to they every which way. You know what I'm saying? They every fucking move, you responded to it. But you ain't responding to shit. And they trying to hit you in all type of ways to get your damn attention. But you ain't clean. You're like, I'm cool. Spirit of peace coming to us. I'm Gucci. And you being strong and courageous about it. Yeah, there was a third party situation that you just over. Maybe it was just the last third party shit. Maybe you gave this person chance after chance after chance. But this person wants to communicate with you. And they will. So be expecting some type of communication. Again, I'm sure. Like I said, you just ignoring it from the looks of it. Yeah, but this person wants to build a home with you. Maybe you guys had a home in the past, lived together, you know, had a nice little house and shit. So they went and fucked it all up, okay? But yeah, you're trying to heal. And maybe this person also been healing since y'all have, you know, not been speaking. But you've been healing, okay? Maybe doing something different with your home. Maybe you moved to a different home. Maybe you put distance, got on a plane, put distance between yourself and this person they got a duo. All right? Yeah, you put boundaries between you and this motherfucker. So, yeah, you put a stop to all this shit due to this third party. Yeah, you've been healing yourself, upgrading your home. Ever since you put boundaries. 
You're no longer selling. You loving yourself first. And you like that shit. You like how I feel. Yeah, you put boundaries because this person was always tempted. Every time you turn around, everything and everybody was tempting their ass, you know? Or maybe some of you with this temptation falling in the communication card, y'all tempted to talk to the motherfucker. But hey, do you, boo, do you. There's no judgment here. But you know that's the whole devil. Yeah. Or maybe they changed. Y'all would know better than I do, right? They don't like no change here. Oh. Oh, Got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo, even though it can still be whoever you're dealing with. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Libra. Somebody is definitely, y'all, some of y'all definitely dealing with a Libra. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Sagittarius, Ooh, Sagittarius, y'all just threw them motherfucking cards out, like I said, I ain't fucking with it, hear what I said the first damn time, okay, 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 let's see what this person want to tell you, could be flipped. Just put it how it may fit in your story. Alright, we got you're the only one I want. So this person, like I said, feels that you guys, this you're their perfect match. They match made in heaven. Alright? At one point, like I said, y'all couldn't get enough of each other. Y'all souls are magnetically connected. God, I can't take back what I did, but I can make, make things, make it right. So this person is trying to make it right. Okay. Okay. So this, this is them soul reflecting, self-reflecting on a situation a lot. Okay. Trying to right they wrong. I don't feel the same way about them the way I feel about you. So yeah, they had you in a third party situation. Maybe it could be maybe it could be somebody, the parent of their child, somebody they got a family with, you know, but you know, uh sometimes you could be with somebody and not be with somebody for most people are with people for all the goddamn wrong reasons now. You know, whether they got kids or not. It it really has to uh it seems like one person is in love, but the other motherfucker's always doing something else. Or they can be together because of finances, they can be together just for the kids, but just off of all, you know, it's just it's just not really for unconditional love no more, you know? I don't know. It's just like, they just fizzled out. And this person feels like that. Whoever they with, they don't have no feelings for them like they feel about you. They know that you guys are a perfect match, okay? Even though they had you and this person literally hanging by a damn string, all right? We got, I regret not telling you I had a family, okay? You, just can't, you can't make this shit up. So, yeah, this person got a family by this person in a third-party situation, and this is why it's also complicated. Because, um, you know, if this is a good man, they're not leave, leaving their kids, you know what I'm saying? But I feel, you know, just my opinion. I feel kids, I feel if it's, if it's fucked up, the kids going to know anyway. They be trying to stay together because of the kids, but... If you don't love the person and got problems with the person, don't that affect the kids? Don't that energy fall on the kids? And are the kids happy? And the kids aren't stupid. They can clearly see that their parents don't love each other. So wouldn't it be best that you love yourselves and get two homes? And at least if y'all got two homes, y'all motherfuckers free and happy. And your kid free and happy even though, you know what I'm saying, y'all not in the same home. But they got double beds. They got double every motherfucking thing. But they got, they got happiness versus trying to stick together and be unhappy. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. Everybody, everybody ain't the same. You know, everybody ain't the same. Let's see what this is. So they regret not telling you that they had a family.
We got Pluto, Scorpio, Venus, Taurus, Scorpio, no, Taurus, Libra, my bad, Cancer, Gemini, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me get you an advice card and I'll leave it here. cards purpose and respect you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love all right respect you value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love all right me love so i'm gonna leave it here and if this resonated with you guys go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up if not go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs down i really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message all right me love so thanks for watching until next time same bad time same bad channel all right deuces